But you should also know um, that we also got an unexpected news break today from uh, reporters Juliet Alperin and Lisa Rain at The Washington Post about the possibility of a criminal indictment of a recently departed Trump cabinet official. Um, no, not that one, not Labor Secretary Alex Acosta. We'll be talking about his potential criminal, li criminal liability a little bit later on this hour, too. Um, but that's not who I mean. See, Alex Acosta is still U.S. Labor Secretary, which makes it all the more amazing that we're going to be talking about his potential criminal liability tonight. Uh, but no, this, this unexpected news that we got this afternoon from The Washington Post was about a former Trump cabinet official. It was about Ryan Zinke. He is the uh, Trump cabinet official who, you may remember, assigned an Interior Department staffer to run up to the roof of the department headquarters and put his personal Ryan Zinke is here flag up the flagpole every time Secretary Zinke entered the building. He had a special flag that meant Ryan Zinke is in the house. And a, it was a person's job to run and put that flag up whenever Ryan Zinke walked through the door. Uh, by the time Ryan Zinke announced his resignation as Interior Secretary on December 15th, he was not only famous for that, he was famous for having found his way into no less than 15 different ethics investigations covering the tenure of his less than two years in office. Although Ryan Zinke has, has characterized his December resignation as voluntary, he had reportedly been told in November by the White House that if he did not resign as Interior Secretary, he would be fired. Ryan Zinke, um, <laughs> upon being told that, then <laughs> told White House staffers that, okay, he would resign, but he wasn't going to resign until after he was able to throw himself a Christmas party at the Department of the Interior, which he did. Part of the reason we know he did is because at that Christmas party, he posed for photos in front of a large stuffed bear wearing a Santa cap. <laughs> he had to stay until he could do that. Literally, the following day, the day after he had his Interior Department Christmas party with the stuffed bear, the party that he invited all the lobbyists to so they could take pictures of him with the dead bear with the Santa hat on, the day after that, that is when he finally consented to resign, once he got that important task done with. One of the things that uh, Ryan Zinke got in trouble for as Interior Secretary was trying to get rid of the Interior Department's uh, independent inspector general who had brought several of these inquiries into Ryan Zinke on ethics issues. Uh, he was not able to get rid of the Interior Department Inspector General despite his best efforts. And it turns out, in the end, one of the inquiries that she launched into him, uh, an inquiry that concerned Ryan Zinke's decision about uh, casino gambling and Indian tribes in the state of Connecticut, the Inspector General's inquiry into that matter went especially pear-shaped for Ryan Zinke when officials in the Inspector General's office came to believe that he had lied to them over the course of their inquiries into that particular scandal. So in late October, the Washington Post reported uh, that that had resulted in Ryan Zinke being referred to the Justice Department for criminal investigation for potentially lying to investigators. Well, now tonight, the Washington Post reports that the Justice Department didn't just sit on that criminal referral. Federal prosecutors have now begun presenting evidence to a grand jury in Washington, D.C., with an eye toward potentially indicting Zinke for lying to investigators. As of today, the Post reports that Zinke himself has not been called to appear before this grand jury, uh, but Alperin and Rain at the Post have two sources confirming that, in fact, this grand jury has been convened. And you know, although a lot of Trump cabinet officials or Trump cabinet nominees or other senior Trump officials have been driven out of Washington, trailed by very serious scandals. Um, depending on how this goes with the grand jury, Ryan Zinke may be the first Trump cabinet official to face a federal criminal indictment, which is a very serious thing. And if that is where this is going, somebody please save a seat in the courtroom for the stuffed bear. Um, we will be watching that closely. Um, I should tell you, as of, as of yet, there has been no comment from the White House on this reporting at all. But tonight, I can tell you, uh, one of our producers from the show was able to reach Mr. Zinke by phone uh, to ask him personally for comment. He did give us a comment on the story tonight. His comment was, quote, have a great day. Bye-bye. Better than no comment.
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.